women in the workplace and in businesses, particularly in the areas of leadership, capacity building, and avenues for networking. The organization this time took a step further from its mission of its responsibilities by distributing food items to aged women, underprivileged persons living with disabilities, and widows in Udogbolu local government area of Ogun State. Our objective is to empower women in general. And you know, if you empower a woman, you're empowering the entire family. And in fact, outside of her family as well, 500, and they're essentially the underserved. So they're widows, um, the disabled, and the very poor. So those are the ones who categorize as the, as the underserved. It's one of the fundamentals to show that we are aware about the, what is going on in the country. And we focus and address it and try to deal with it. So this is our own little opportunity to give back. Wife of Ugun State's governor, Mrs. Bamdeli Abiodun, joined the organization in its quest to ensure qualitative and quantitative life by distributing cash gifts to augment their expenses. Mrs. Abiodun commended Wimbies for extending the gesture to Ogun State after recording success in Lagos State. Economic empowerment has long-term effects that extend beyond individual households, which not only uplifts them, but also benefits the entire community. I want to thank Wimbies and their private sector partners for today's commitment to making a difference in Odobolu. Beneficiaries expressed gratitude for the hands of fellowship extended to them. They really did well. For widows, physically challenged women, they, they try a lot. We didn't expect this. We thank them. May God continue to bless them. It will go in a long way because I will use this to feed myself and my children. With the mission to inspire and empower women to attain leadership positions in business, management and public service, Wimbies assured that more plans are underway in uplifting more people. Margaret Okunlola, OGTV News.